Working for an hourly wage I went to high school, didn't do great Still I gotta make more cash I'm not a teacher, baby I can teach you something I'm not a teacher, but we can pray if you want Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Today I'll be doing a review with You Nice Hair uh, This company sent me three bundles and a lace closure And today I'll be showing you in detail how to, to create a deep side part wig now to create a deep side part wig is totally different from just creating a regular lace closure wig so i will show you um you know guys how to do that exactly uh, but just right off the back um i love how these bundles felt they were very soft and um the closure was very nice as well um it wasn't as pre-plucked as i would have wanted it to be but it's fine i did go ahead and bleach those knots and pluck that hairline out, which I will show you like a quick little preview um, of me making this wig as well now today I'll be showing you guys how to create a deep side part wig and this video was requested by a few of my subbies so here it is finally now the difference between a deep side part closure wig is like how I uh, install a closure like all the way to the far left or far right but today will be on the far left um, that means this closure comes all the way down to by your ear. It's not just placed higher up, if you understand what I mean. And the first thing that I did do, like you guys may see the two lines on um, this uh, foam, I mean not this foam head, but on this wig cap. I did go ahead and place the wig cap and I set the closure close by my ear. And that was just to like mark off where the closure should lay. So like I said before this is how you create a deep side part wig so the first thing you want to do is place that cap on your head sit the closure on top of the cap far left by your ear and then just mark where the closure starts and stops and then you can pre uh, proceed on to these steps that i'm doing now as far as lining that closure up with those marked areas and i'm just going to twist the hair out the way so i can begin to sew the closure down all around now, um, I am doing a quick weave wig. I mean, I will do eventually some videos on how to uh, create wigs with the sewing method. But because I have to do so many wigs a day, um, I'll be sewing forever. So I just make all my wigs quick weave wigs. And it's just quick and convenient for me. So um, the first thing you want to do is go ahead, like I said, is mark that closure. Um, place that closure where you have marked it. And then I'm just going to use some T-pins and hold that closure down as I sew that closure all around. Now, the reason why I placed that plastic bag underneath this wig cap is because I did not want to get any glue on my dome head. So, if you don't um, want to mess up your dome head, just place the little Walmart bag or, you know, any bag, plastic bag um, underneath the dome head, tie it down, and then place your cap on top. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to sew this uh, closure all around and then I'm going to go on with my bundles to um, begin to bond it in. Now it is a certain way that you want to bond in the bundles as well um, when making a deep side part wig because this wig is like I said it falls a certain way and it has to be made a certain way. Um, as far as how I came up with this idea, it was just really like the first time I did it, it was trial and error and it actually turned out to be a technique that I created for myself. So I don't, I haven't seen any other videos that show you how to create a deep side part wig. So I might be the first, I'm not sure, but I'm here to show you guys whatever I teach myself and whatever, you know, I have learned. So, um, for starters, I'm going to go in with that first body weight bundle. And you just want to place it as if you were doing a regular bonding going from the left side to the right side. But um, as we get closer to the top, I am going to tell you like a key part um, that you need to know when um, bonding in these bundles. Now, um, what you want to do, first of all, I'm just going to, you know, make this quick and get straight to it. You want to make sure that you are bonding the tracks in that same line pattern that you just seen me draw with my fingers um try to get the tracks to lay the same uh way the closure is laying as far as this side and then i will show you in detail and tell you how to make it um 
fall when it comes to the other side but I placed that track right there and right now I'm showing you is that you want to um, do the tracks going in a C motion and then the last final track you want it to follow the same shape outline as that closure so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue to curve the tracks in a C uh, sort of a C shape work more like a J more like a J shape and you just want to continue to do that until you get all the way close to the top now I did leave a little bit space between um, that back area because when I get to my last track around I wanted to lay flat and still be able to cover up all the tracks but it is very very simple it's the same way as doing a bond in like if you were to do a deep closure install on someone and they're getting a quick weave or so in it's like all the same steps and you want to lay the tracks the same way as well so um i hope you guys kind of get it i feel like i was confusing you a little bit but if you do have any more questions just go ahead and um ask me down in the comments and i will try my best to get to every question or just answer all questions at one time and like one um comment so um you want to make sure that you lay these tracks all the way close as possible to that closure but don't put it on top of the closure just put it right up close to it and as far as styling this uh wig um it will be a side part and i did add a little curl to it but um because i you know after washing the body weight frontal i mean closure it does you know tend to get a little bit straight but this is what the wig should look like um, another key thing I forgot to mention as far as um, the placement of the closure, as you, as you can see when I'm, um, before I cut the extra cap out of that closure wig, um, I did not lay the closure directly like straight. I actually um, laid it in a diagonal angle because like I said, it is going to fall on the deep side of your ear. So you want to make sure that you have that space. So do not have your closure lay directly in front of the cap straight have it actually going diagonal that way where the earlobe is it should be way more lace exposed than on the other side so i'm actually going to insert that information right here as well so you guys can see what i was talking about And that was the pretty much uh, correct way to actually place that closure. But here I'm just showing you guys how I just did a little bit of uh, plucking. I'm not going to go too in-depth on that in this video. Just a little snippet. But I am going to actually show you guys how I styled this wig. Now, um, this is just pretty much how the closure looks after bleaching the knots and plucking. I haven't added my foundation color or anything to it yet. And it will be a side part and of course a deep side part because it's a deep closure uh, body wave wig and um, like I said before because you know after washing the body wave hair you do lose um, the wave so that's why I just went in with my wand curler and just added some curls all around to the top layer to give it more of a jazzy look and here I'm using my wax stick it's just running very low so I took it out of the actual stick a container and I'm just using the last little piece um, that's on there and I'm just going to go ahead and hot comb uh, the roots of my closure out really nice because I wanted to lay very neat and flat and it's much easier when you do it um, like on the mannequin that way you can get as close as you need to without the worries of burning yourself so I'm just using the wax stick only in that hot comb to smooth those roots out very very nice neat and flat now after I do that I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a quick snippet of what it looks like this is what it looks like up close and this is the part where I was saying they got a little bit straight from after the washing so I did go in with my wand curler it's really much like a hair curler but um, I use it as a wand curler but for these uh, curls, typically I am opening up that uh, hair curl and I'm going to wrap the hair on that inside one part and then I'm going to close it and twist it. And that's how I created uh, these top layer curls all over. They are really, really cute and very simple to do. So just from what I'm doing, it's pretty, you know, self-explanatory um, on how I achieve these curls. And I actually showed you like a little snippet of both sides, but overall in general it takes about 
no more than 30 minutes to create this wig, especially if you bond fast, it should really take little to no time. And you can make this, you know, it's the same steps for any deep side part wig, whether it's really, really curly, straight, it's all the same. You want to make sure it's just, you know, just make sure that you place that closure in the correct placement. But I would do more and more update video, updated videos on this technique that I created. So uh, bear with me. This is my first time actually showing it on camera. And this is my second time, my second time actually making a deep side closure wig. The first time I told you it was like trial and error, but it came out perfect. And this is a technique that I'm going to continue to work at and master and hopefully it starts to trend but this is pretty much what the wig looks like after i added the curls it's very very cute i love the curls and this wig will actually uh, actually go up on my instagram so um if you follow me on instagram um it's underscore beautiful hustler i will have the details of this hair in my um caption as well as my page but thank you guys for watching and tune in to part two of the installation